Hello. Hyperactivity is a common term associated with autism. But it's a fact that a significant number of children also display hypoactive traits. This is defined by low energy, less interest in interaction with people or surroundings, the prefer to be left alone and in an isolated spot for hours. and they do not want to participate in any activity like riding a bike playing with ball water play posture is also poor in these children as is balance and coordination very often these children would be observed to have articulation problems in speech have frequent falls while running and they drop objects a lot you can check out the card with sensory processing disorders and you will feel this is actually the category in which the children are called slumpers or maybe fumblers surprisingly you will find them flexible but they tend to have low strength and endurance the major problem areas may include a poor bladder control difficulty in gripping pencil or crayon while writing managing stairs walking long distances even sitting erect for a long time so they lean onto the furniture very frequently so the question arises what do you do first don't try to hurry tasks with them try to give them extra time and allow correcting of mistakes you realize now the exam time is very bad for them they try to take an impulsive approach at the time and inaccuracy results and they get even more irritable and you can see why they throw tantrums at such times The second step that you can use over here is manual guidance for fine tasks like cutting with scissors, tying laces, dressing, eating with spoon, fork, etc. And eventually you can wean off the physical assistance. You can click the card to understand what are the different steps of learning and how you can progress through them. Coordination training is very important for these children. and for that you can use mirror as a feedback for things like improving their posture improving their walking abilities giving them obstacle course because it's going to challenge their balance use of music dance and swimming is an excellent activity for them what to do about the child's handwriting your child may simply refuse to write because of clumsiness and writing for a long time may be difficult fine hand function and in hand manipulation training with an occupational therapist is going to help them really well cursive writing is more difficult for these children so try to allow them to write in a manuscript style ball games are very beneficial for these children you can direct the attention towards the approaching ball then it also requires balancing on one leg and kicking with the other initially there could be a clumsy holding and throwing of the ball so different eye hand coordination activities can be practiced you can click the card to learn what are the different ehc activities that can help them deep pressure massages are really beneficial giving it on hands and feet because it helps not only in providing tone to their muscles but also improves their sensory awareness with specific focus on toes and fingertips try to encourage them to stand without any support or leaning onto the surfaces midline activities are really going to help them pushing pulling and carrying objects like toys or backpacks can also help some kind of unusual practices also help to challenge them like maybe walking on their heels walking on their toes walking with one foot in front of the other which is also called as tandem walking backward walking etc games like hopscotch are really beneficial for these kids because it challenges their balance and obviously never forget to transfer all these skills to their daily living skills like lay first trying to help them to dress up in sitting position and later on progress to standing let me know if these activities were beneficial apply them to your children give me a feedback in the comments below how these worked for you please like the video if it was beneficial subscribe to the channel for regular notifications of my videos ring the bell icon we'll meet again soon bye